My name is Dante Robinson. I do track and field. I've just trained primarily as like a sprinter, hurdler, pole vaulter for the last two years. That's just been the focus, just getting stronger, faster. I mean, I'm having a great time. It's so much fun. I came here because my uncle was on the track and field team in 2010. I wanted to try to follow in my uncle's footsteps and make my family proud. I'm from Pendleton, Oregon. I mean, if you know my story, broke my legs in high school, so I wasn't supposed to run at all. So my motivation is I just want to keep running while their legs still can. And I got a lot of little cousins back home too, so I'm trying to do it for them. It took me a year to figure out that academics were like so important. I figured if I'm working that hard out there, I might as well just sit in the front row and try to learn something while I'm here and grab my two degrees, community health and psychology. Basically, I sit in the front row of every class and I just try to give it a little extra. Future Portland State Athletics looks really bright, especially with the new pavilion. All the students in there and seeing everybody's families and basically supporters from all around, like downtown, is really cool. When I was recruited, the weight room I came into was in shambles. It needed an upgrade, so I very much thank the donors for this new weight room. It's definitely changed the game for a lot of us. We call it the multis. It's the heptathlon, decathlon for the men. Hurdles and pole vault are key events in the multi. There's been so many high points for me. I've been fortunate enough to win three championships in a row for Portland State in the multis. And when I win the fourth one outdoors, I'll be the first one to ever do it. I'm in some pretty cool company that way. There's only been a few that have repeated that many times. It's just a whole new realm of motivation for me. I just want to be considered one of the best. I'm the first one in the gym and the last one out. If you're not the hardest worker in the room, then like you don't deserve the scholarship. If you came to this school and you want to compete, you got to give it 110% every single day. So I just give it all I got so I can be like the best athlete and like student I can be because I don't want to leave thinking I could have done better.